What's up? This is your boy Super and I'm playing Control. So we just got to the hotel and I haven't made any progression in it since the last episode. But I did see something on the desk here. We, we got that. And then... We were gonna leave. But I felt like ringing a bell instead. Sounds like that opens a door. So traverse the Ocean City Mo Ocean View Motel. We can't leave now. And that door is finally unlocked. There's the new cord. What did we pick up? I don't remember. Clear now. The floppy disk. No, it was the. Uh, Upside down black pyramid from the briefing or the debrief. Upside side down black pyramid key. That must be for the casino part of the hotel. And it's not in my inventory. The assets? No. Mods. Nine, we got health boost 19% plus and okay no that's the one we're using this health boost we got energy recovery speed plus 18 health 19% boost energy plus 6 and health recovery per element pickup plus 20 about rare rarity the rarest is the health boost I guess we'll use it then. Anything in here? No. Any doors? No. There's a red light coming from underneath that one though. A red aura. So we'll pull the light switch again. like a PT ring the bell again all right sounds a lot better now it sounds like a real bell looks like there's something new down here no there isn't Okay, now it's back to being a... There we go. Oh, that's what... The, you gotta use the bell as like a switch. Now it should work. Yeah. Pick up the hotline. There was no bridge here before. to get close to it. The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Oh crap. Wait till it drops its shield or whatever and it's the little circle. Do run by it. I 
think so. Ah, uh, so. There's another one coming from this side. This is like prey where you had to hide from the really big aliens. Use telekinetic powers to defeat them and hide from them and run for them. Yeah, so yeah, it's very much like prey. And the controls for this game feel very similar to like PlayStation 2. Uh, early generation PlayStation 4 maybe a phone. but definitely it's PlayStation 3 too it doesn't connect to any typical network a direct line to the astral plane and the board and my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well it's the president's phone a director needs a team my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Well, all right. Her nose is bleeding. I have it. The hotline. Amelia. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He Lots of new morning. hotlines. Strange collection. Collect 40 echo. collectibles. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. I need to read my collectibles. Case files, hotline. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Object is a 1960s AR Red Bakelite telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs redacted. The object al allows the director to communicate with the redacted. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal redacted. The object is currently bound to director trench. Background. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but its origin remains unknown. Multimedia. We got the hotline video. Dr. Darling calling. In 1978, a comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up, going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered, and the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well, our very own Ouija board. Uh, Only the director can answer it safely and what... Oh yeah, we already saw that. Sorry. Hotline. Now we got call, cell phone calls, I guess. We got the first call from Trench. There's a call from the management team. A director needs a team heard that one. How come those two are the same? I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams. Constantly ringing. Ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. 
the rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. Got Ocean View Motel. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The Ocean View operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel, the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. The coming storm. Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. Worst winter storm in Bureau history. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide-and-seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. And the directorship. This one's from the board. Those were all from the trench. He won't leave us alone. They need me. How, how cool. People react strongly when I tell them about you. About who? Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Wherefore are th uh, the boardroom? I've been to the boardroom. That's a weak jump. All that, how fast she's running, she should be able to get a little bit more graceful in distance. That's not very graceful and it's not very, doesn't have very much distance. What do we have? 
Agent Death Notification. Dear Mr. and Mr. Potts, Mrs. and Mr. Potts, I regret to inform you that our son, Graham Potts, your son, was killed in active duty this past week. While the details surrounding his death are classified, I am honored to tell you that he died in the service of his country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against our enemies. He will be remembered by his comrades, colleagues, and colleagues. I sincerely regret the pain this message will bring you. Take some solace in knowing that his sacrifice helped protect the country he loves so much. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. Sincerely yours, Howard J. Murray, Deputy Chief of Communications, Federal Bureau of Control. See, it says control is ready to play. I've been playing it. Well, PS5's glitching out. And I don't like it. Board room. I gotta go down the hall right here, huh? Backtrack to all these level one security doors. Uh, level four, huh? What's up with you, buddy? I could have teleported here. Outfits. No new outfits yet. I'm the director, I should have an outfit that states as such. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? I, sorry, you made it. I'm glad. Initial Emily? impressions. Analyst of the hiss part one. Initial encounters with the entity known as the hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radi radically changing their behavior. Curiously, curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HR devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the Hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other Hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the Hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a Hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seemed to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the Hiss. More work to be done. Refer to the file redacted for the full report. Let's talk. Of course. Emily! I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... Tomasi. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If... You agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. Bow. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Since this is a okay. PlayStation 4 game and it we'll wasn't really upgraded great. that much for the PS5, the I think I'm going to leave it on we need to get these performance or frame rate Darling settings Marshall. because... No and matter how much we zoom in on the graphics, they're never so going to be the right resolution. So 
uh, let me put it back on performance. Yes, definitely. I haven't noticed any ray tracing. If there was ray tracing, that it looked just as good on performance mode. I was so upset last time because the PlayStation 5 is capable of doing 60 frames per second in 4K. But this was a PS4 Pro game. game uh, excuse me. Just upgraded to PS5. Didn't I do something with the janitor in the beginning of the game? Didn't I attack him or something? I know I talked to him. Times this game seems to like it makes short amount of time seem longer because more things are happening and you're running through an empty building. So it seems like two days have passed, but all you did was walk down the hallway. Not like I mean it was made bad. It's just like a psychological thing. The pacing and everything has been alright so far. Unknown caller, trophy earned. Complete mission two, and we've got a lot of mods. Got one actually, an energy boost mod plus five. Okay, missions. Directorial override. The initial lockdown, an emergency security measure, is stopping Jesse from looking for Trench's missing management team in the other sectors. Jesse sets out to enter the maintenance sector to find the directional override and lift the internal lockdown. Oh, not initial lockdown, internal lockdown. Hotline. The board called us. We are at war, hostile takeover. The hiss is the opposing force slash foreign power. We will provide countermeasures slash strategy. Accept slash ingest them at control points. These countermeasures slash missions will benefit you. We will give resources slash rewards to each completed countermeasure. Why is the board going against the hiss? The board and the hiss are two separate things. I gotta talk to her again. Jeez. Hi, Jesse. Okay, I've already asked her about all this. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. There's something Just about let me know. crafting weapons. I can't fast travel using the map, I guess. Huh? That's how you switch shoulders. I was wondering how you did that. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? Singing. A lot Sounds of like it's questions. coming from the elevator. Fast travel abilities we got. 10% to health. 10% to energy, 10% to melee, 25% launch damage. I know I'm definitely going for launch damage. What do these cost to upgrade? What are those circular things? We've got four of them, so we can obviously upgrade each one, which I think I'll do. Boom, 10% health. Boom, 10% to energy. Use one to unlock additional weapon form slot. Boom. Ten to melee. Melee. Additional weapon slot acquired. Ten to launch. Twenty-five to launch damage. And now we are all out of points. Astral constructs. Weapon forms. Construct shatter. We need... Six, about 600 more sources to construct a, a shatter with high stopping power scatter shot that devastates groups enemies at close range like a shotgun with buckshot we can craft mod random weapon mod they're all random weapon mod or personal mods they're all ran obscured they're all per random Refresh mods there. 
Didn't look like it did anything. Upgrade. What do we need to upgrade? Upgrade. We need more source and more threshold remnant. Upgrade to higher tier mods. Alright, let's take a personal mod. Oh, wow, they're expensive. I think I'll hold off on that just now. Countermeasures. Change maneuvers. Kill enemies with a service weapon in charge mode. Charge into the field. It's the art slash commercial of war. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do it. It gives us a random common personal mod. Still no outfit. Search for a way into the maintenance sector. What about the, uh, how do we view the mission? Charge maneuvers, kill enemies with the service weapon in charge mode. Okay, how do you do that? This is the right way, place to be. What am I supposed to be doing here? This asked us to document the hiss incantation, she calls it. Meaning like in person. In person. With a pencil. Well, eavesdropping, I suppose. Like she's trying to get us killed. Where is it even where is where even is the maintenance sector? Why did, why is my map marker showing me something down here when there is nothing? Should I pick all f uh, countermeasures? The way I can complete them all. And weapon and use surge coil firecracker against you on your enemy. Specifics not found. You were approved for action. Kill his guards in the executive sector using spin. Don't know what that is. Use pierce. Can only take three at a time. Kill his rangers, kill enemies with service weapon and pierce one. Well, I don't know how to switch modes on my weapon. <coughs> what sector am I looking for? A maintenance sector. I've been throughout the whole building, I don't see a maintenance sector. Is there a fast travel point? Do these guys say anything interesting? I have so many questions. So we got the mail room, the dead letters. I don't even know where the maintenance sector is. open executive sector maintenance sector now what do we have to do with the maintenance sector as far as missions go kill his guards in the executive sector using spin and how do we use spin we use square to switch weapon types it must have a spin mode Okay, well, when I get to my weapon, let's go to the executive sector. Oh, that's where we're at is the executive sector, okay. And they're all, all the guards are dead. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly base. The janitor is our padre. That's why they kidnapped the son, because he works for them. I don't know, I'm just being silly. The consecutive kills boost weapon mod effects last for five seconds. The timer resets after each kill. Too bad it the doesn't stack. The janitor domain. If I can find oh, no. Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was Ati. you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Who the hell is she talking to? Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? And the sector two door. I mean clearance level two door. 
nothing else in here. Ventilation janitor's office, sector elevator. The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? If I had a nickel for every time they said control, I'd tell you what. What? What? I gotta use spin move, but I don't have it. Get a pick me up on now. There we go. Got something to press triangle at over there. Nothing else important in here. Uh, cleanse the control point. Why not? Now we got the maintenance sector fast travel online. Black rock quarry, black rock processing, ventilation. So I'm um, guessing we head to the black rock place. This is a whole new map. We, we do head to the left over there, which would be ventilation and janitor's office. Oh yeah, that was the mission to go to the janitor's office. Ahi. have collectibles and it can be overwhelming. Uh, okay, this is gonna kill me. I'm stuck. This isn't overwhelming, it's nice and manageable. The collectibles and the exploration. I don't want to go into oh, okay there we go. Is this the way from whence I came? Is not. I mean, tis, tis. We gotta go down there. And upstairs to that door. All the things got in now. The red stuff. What's down that way? You're quite the inquisitive girl, aren't you? Janitor's office. for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. 
Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Ah, ah, You think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Lama was on Berkele Suora that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside. He's starting to feel the band around his head tight. Jeez. The situation needs to be that box is to be more entertaining. This cutscene kind of drags on with nothing, no, no important information my best or anything. This. Me Fix too. The coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. What is she gonna blow? I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here, you can do later. When you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all, you'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Well, all right. Let's check the clipboard. Yeah. New mission: What a mess! Burn the trash. Burn the Activated. Trash. Throw it in the fire. Clearance level two is Burn open. When did we get a clearance level two key card? Don't remember. Oh, we must have got it from this guy. Okay, materials. We got some ritual impulse. We got some threshold remnant. Which are good for upgrades. We got some board countermeasures, some mission briefings. Okay, find a way to fix the NCS power plant. What a mess! Burn the trash. Burn okay. it into a reindeer, not into the <laughs> Gotta go out to the store. Go through to the left. Oh, we can't go to the left. What the hell? The prize is health boost and spin grouping proficient efficiency. But we don't have a. Uh, sp the weapon isn't upgraded for spinning. What happened to the last mod we had? Uh, grip, what does that do? Headshot damage. What happens to the ones we used to have? We don't have spin yet. What new personal mod we got? 15 to health. Okay. It's like. We gotta head down to a door right here in this wall. Okay. He's pointing behind him, so I assume this would be. Oh okay, crap! So what happens again if that thing blows up? Power explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Oh, I got lucky right there. We have time to burn the trash. Cause I love me a fire. A merry chase. Lord. I didn't think this I thought this was gonna be a more linear story driven cinematic game. Now there's all these quests and side quests and upgrades and mods and it just keeps getting more in depth. NCS power plant, is that a a, 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 a mini? No, that's an NPC. 
Looks like we can head to the left here to go burn the trash. That's a switch. I don't think I should push it. Shelter. This seems cool. We got prizes in here. Personal mod, launch efficiency. No, thank you. So if we were facing a boss, we could go hide in there. Uh, not, that, not that there's a good reason to hide. It's part of hey. the game you must hey, accomplish. Are you new? Go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Jesus. So uh, we can't complete the side mission until we complete the first mission, which was directorial override. Got a useless mod. And a, oh no, we got a good mod. Launch efficiency cost down 7%. Okay. Correspondence got Arish escaped OOP. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple of weeks ago and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own and definitely don't bind it to yourself so we get a mount that would be awesome click trench call this again guy won't leave us alone north moore was director before me i never wanted his job i never wanted power i purposefully avoided it didn't trust it didn't want to rely on it North Moor was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. North Moor never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, North Moor. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Wow, that was a long one. I had to set my headphones down for a second. Alright, now we gotta complete the proper mission. Just go in the center of the power plant, which we cannot get to. Unless we go down here. Nope, not even then. It's a green door down here, though. HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but... Whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. Smelled like a barman. 
He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get... Polo, darling. Uh, that's repaired. an interesting name. Rooms. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me about the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. You can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? I should be going. Right. You gotta lock down the lift. Federal Bureau of Control. Hey, Saman, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Ati, just tell them you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Cheers, Lynn. Psst, in case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this ain't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. That I can do. That I can do. Buckaroo. So I'm back doing commentary at the end of the video. I figured out what the problem was, and I think it's because the, the game is set to remove the copyright and music automatically so it's taking my voice with it while I'm recording but we found another control point we got it clean we got a bunch of upgrades looks like I know we, we don't have any upgrades I read it wrong but let's see if we can 
change our gun here. Got anything we can do with our gun? Only no, don't have enough for that. We do have. Do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough for that. Let's get that. Now we got that scatter shot. It's like a shotgun, I reckon. Yeah. So anyway, the workaround I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna leave the copyrighted music in, and then when I go to edit it, I'll just mute that section and voice over just that section if I need to. It'll be it'll save it a lot of time and be easier to do. So we gotta switch our uh, missions back here because we've only got the shotgun. So we can kill normal enemies, or we can kill shotgun enemies. We can't do all the rest. Yeah, shotgun. And put some mods in it too. We got a mod for the shotgun that makes it shoot a tighter group. And the only one the other mod, grip. That's what our that's what our normal gun is called, the grip gun. We only have mods for the grip and the scatter shot. All right. Thinking about dismantling all these extra mods, but I don't know. Wonder if there's something else we can do with them. Probably not. Well, all right. Yeah, we can't complete it. We can't complete any of these missions. Just the one where you kill people normally and kill certain like his rangers and his uh, guards. If we can even be able, we're able to even find these guards, if they, I wonder if anything respawns. If they don't respawn, I don't know how we're going to complete it. Just have to complete it on accident, I guess. Well, I spend a lot of time fiddling in the menus. I'm just like uh, fascinated with the game because it's so cool. And I don't don't feel the need to be efficient. Like I could just open a menu, just to have it there. While I'm itching my back or something, you know. It seems like a complicated place. I like the Resident Evil style maps. It's like the only thing so far that's like Resident Evil. Besides the controls. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to end the call this an episode right here. I'm wondering if we could pass the guards. I bet you we could have passed them the whole time. They just wanted to stop and say hi first. Well, this has been your boy, Super Playing Control. I'm glad you're watching. It would help me out a lot if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.